The ice climbers are doubling down, ladies and gentlemen, and after being deemed too intense for portables, they're finally ready to switch things up. When Popo and Nana whip up a blizzard, for instance, they combine their might to strike ahead rather than hitting both sides like they did in the past. In terms of references, the duo have plenty up their sleeves, too. Their neutral special is reminiscent of the Toppy's hole plugging ice shards, while their vinyl smash features both a polar bear and condor from their classic adventure. The Ice Climbers' palettes pull inspiration from the original box art and include different instances of damage. Even their poor sportsmanship is a callback to when they'd fail to scale mountains. It might have been an uphill battle developing characters with just one title under their collective belt, but you can sum it up to Mr. Sakurai and his team for producing a concept that's truly a pinnacle of creativity. Hey there, pal. Thanks for watching. The Ice Climbers didn't make it for the fourth installments of the series, but did you miss them? I can appreciate their presence on the roster and their place in Nintendo's history, but they're not quite my cup of tea. That's beside the point though, let me know your thoughts in the comments below.